So this lady has a unicorn horn. It's not what it is, <laughs> but that's what it's called. Um, it's uh, sometimes a dermis growth on top of a mole or something like that. And uh, we have to take them off from time to time. Hers is pretty big. I've seen them bigger, but um, we're going to get her squared away here in a little bit. So let's get it done. Oh, yeah, we're going to send it. we got to send it because it sometimes it's cancer or something like that. Who knows? All right, let's get it. That's it. Put it right here. Well, I'm Give me this and you take this. This whole area. All right, young lady, you ready? No. Huh? How yes, <laughs> you going to lie and say no? <laughs> I left you in here long enough. You should be ready. I'm you probably ready. Over here. All right, let's see. All right, I'm going to raise that bed up just, well, no, it's fine right there. Can I take your glasses off? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. All right. You got any questions? Do you have any questions? Oh, uh, massage. I got no one. Okay. All right. You know they call this a unicorn horn, right? <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Because uh, usually when people get them, they get them on their head from time to time. Oh. And um, they look like that and kind of hang out. All right, I'm going to turn your head just this way, just a little bit. There we go. And I want you to relax and enjoy life. So you say it's been there for how long? Uh, at least a couple, two or three years. Okay. And it just recently started getting that little horn in it? Okay. It's gotten a little worse. Okay. All right, young lady, you ready? Okay. All right, a little stick and a burn. All right. One, two, three. Look at you handling that like a champ. Mm. The last person I numbed up who tried to, she was out there throwing a fit. You probably heard her in here. <laughs> she just wore her down. Mm. I'm sorry. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. How's that feeling? Okay. Yes, All right. All right, I'm gonna put a little sheet down over your eyes just so we don't get any blood in it, okay? okay. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not hurting you, Emma. I feel it. <laughs> you, you feel it hurting or you just feel like the crunchy? Yeah. Like, like, do what you have to do. Okay, but I don't want you to hurt now. No, you I know? don't either. <laughs> Or keep, them keep it close. You don't want to see me coming at your face with all these instruments and stuff. That does sound fun. Okay. All right, I'm going to just leave that right there for a second.
Good job. Good job. Almost got it all. Oh boy. You know, y'all are all making all kind of crazy noises. That brother over there breathing loud, you breathing loud, Jennifer's <laughs> stomach rumbling. I'm between all y'all, I feel like I need to pass gas or do something just to kind of join in because oh, everybody well, making a... Mm -hmm. anyway, so. <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> You doing okay, young lady? Yes, I'm alright. Okay, alright. We almost got it. So far. Alright, we almost got it stopped bleeding. Oh yeah, tell, I'll put. I tell her once I get it posted. Uh, if you leave me her information, yeah. I'll send her the link so she can look at it. Okay. What she want to be when she grows up? She uh, know yet? A oh okay. You doing okay? I think it's okay. Alright. Alright, now it comes the sewing up part. This is our new employee, Sally. She just started today. <laughs> We're gonna put a stair strip over this too, so I'll give you a chance. Yeah. Every once in a while, when we, we, we send all of these off to the, um, to the pathologist for them to look at it just to make sure it's not a melanoma or cancer or something like that. So we'll send that off. We'll know in about two weeks. And what will happen is she'll come back and see us in about two weeks. And we'll get these sutures out. Okay. Um, we're going to put a little dressing over it. It's, uh, it's a little piece of medical tape. Okay. She can get in the shower. She can do whatever she wants to. Okay. It's not supposed to come off. It may come off in seven days. It may not. Um, if it doesn't come off before she comes to see us in two weeks, just put a little Vaseline on top of it, let it sit there, okay. and then in about five minutes it'll wipe right off. When you look at it sitting over there on the, uh, yeah. on the on the plate, all right, we're going to get that thing all ready.
Can't prep binge wars. No, there's no. Only reason I'm doing this is because the eyebrow likes to move a lot. And what I don't want it to do is move and shift. So this will just kind of hold it in place. All right, young lady, put your hand right here over you and just hold that in place for me. Says, yes, ma'am. That's it. Just hold that right there. And uh, we are good to go. All right. Y'all got any questions? Crazy man. All right, so I'll see y'all in two weeks, okay? And like I said, if something comes up, give me a call. But we'll just remove those sutures in, okay? All right, brother, be good. We'll see y'all later. So she did very well, got it off. I'm concerned if you look in the incision, you can tell that it looks like there was a um, area of granulation tissue. Sometimes that granulated tissue is cancer. So we're going to send it off. We'll know what it is in a couple of weeks. Hopefully it's not. Um, but we'll get our sutures out in two weeks, have the pathology back in two weeks, and she should be good to go, hopefully. All right, thanks for tuning in. So follow up on that nice young lady. So the path demonstrated a ruptured inclusion cyst. So basically it was a sebaceous cyst that ruptured um, or a blackhead that kind of squeezed out and looks like a unicorn horn, not cancer, nothing to do. She's good to go. She'll follow up with us if she needs to. Scabbed over, it looks great. No other surgery is required.